got to tell you, what a difference low humidity makes. Yeah. Even when the temperatures yes. kind of start creeping up, uh -huh. it's really not that bad. That actually is the difference maker. I mean, mm -hmm. you take like a summer day if you were at 90 plus and you had low humidity, I mean, it's a yeah. totally different thing. Yeah. By the way, totally off topic, but yeah. I remember doing one of those tax day lives. Yes! Days. And then I was trying to say, really? why was I doing a tax day? Why were day? you doing those? It must have been the weather for sitting in line. I guess. Oh. It would have been. And remember, they would give out like candy bars, yes. like a payday or a yeah. hundred thousand yes. dollar. That's right. Bar, yeah. Standing right there at the I post office. Yes. Those days. I want yes. my candy bars back. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking. I was like, yeah, I did. But why was I doing that? That's weird. <laughs> Maybe pre-weather days. No, like, no, no. I was weather. But I think I, he's right, though. Yeah, we have them down, you know, downtown yeah. Washington. Uh, yeah. Okay. I sat out there and joked with people in line. I remember that. Yeah. Thanks. Those weather days. Fifty-eight. The current number. Marv, good to see you over there. We're looking at upper 40s in the morning. Should be warmer tonight. Uh, we had 40s on the plan from the models for this morning and ended up turning into 39. But we are running warmer than this time last night. So we'll see where we end up. But a lot of 50s on the board now. A couple of low 60s out there. And as you look at the radar shot, it is all empty. And it has been that way for days. And I'm going to tell you, tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday, if you have outdoor plans, there is nothing in your way. Uh, again, cloud free, blue sky, the low humidity, the aforementioned low humidity, uh, and just the warm weather out there. High pressure and control. How do we know? Well, you can look at it with the wind here. You can see the clockwise spin of this dome of high pressure. As long as this is around, this is keeping things high and dry. It's really keeping a cap on not only rain, but cloud cover. So good stuff. This will take us into Thursday. We have more good stuff. Let's go forward. Yeah, I can see that on the left side of the screen. That's the system that'll be heading here Saturday. Still trying to figure some timing out. There's Thursday night midnight. We still look good. We go forward. This will take us into Friday afternoon. Now, if you follow the models, you know, the way you know, we talk about short range and long range, within three days you can get that short range, and then we'll start knowing better about Saturday once we get into, especially this time tomorrow night. Right now we have to look at the blobs of paint on the wall from the long range perspective. There's Friday afternoon into Friday night. Still great. Let's go forward, and this is still kind of a a race and timing here. We have the Euro and blue here that's out in front showing a Saturday morning arrival, maybe with the GFS, but also the GFS is trying to linger a little bit. If the Euro is right in blue, this is already starting to clear once we get into lunchtime or early afternoon, so it would make it a first half of Saturday and then that's it. If the Euros or GFS is right, it's still going to linger some into Saturday, so that's complicated, but we'll figure it out more is what I'm saying as we get into the day tomorrow. So Sunday's looking good, although it will start to cool down. There is the seven day. It shows perfection tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, chance of rain Saturday at some point. No, no, no more tomorrow than cooler and clearing on Sunday. Marv has sports.